Hello everybody, welcome to The Way Out is Through episode 34, part of my daily video series of thoughts, ideas, and reflections of things that make me get me through the day. Almost daily, uh, about every other day, every couple days. Um, today's episode, I'm going to talk about the stress that's been going through this the town. So, as I you saw in my last video, I had a bit of a problem with the school speech that I was going to go give. The, it got shut down at the last minute and it ended up being a stressful day um, but that wasn't the only stress in the air I guess I went home watched the news and there was a vigil for that school shooting here there was a school shooting here in Colorado in Highland Ranch last week and there was a vigil for the school shooting and at that vigil students got upset and walked out because of the stress that they were under and I guess the thing had gotten co-opted to a different I, I don't know the details of it but I know that there's a lot of anxiety and there's a lot of people on edge about what to do in these situations. And I really think that that is the best time to talk about it when it's really hard. Because people will say things in times like this that they aren't going to say in a month or in two months because the wound is fresh and it's still open. When it scabs over a bit, it's gets harder to get a full detail out of it. People want to censor, people want to hide their feelings. I believe that addressing it at the spot or as close to the spot as possible would be really helpful. I think that maybe we should start trying to have these discussions about why someone would commit such an atrocity right away. And with the kids who are sad and, and grieving about it, let them express, let them say what they want to say, let them feel what they need to feel. And I think I understand completely people's reticence to talk about it. I understand the the want to make sure everybody's feelings are um, respected, make sure that nobody is unduly put under more trauma. But I really think that there's a space in the middle of that where we can talk about this. That it's just like the politics going around. You know, people are stressed about this whole. Trump thing with the Mueller report and what does it mean and is there impeachment and yada yada and there's so much stress everywhere it seems like everything is on edge and maybe that's why I think something like Endgame just made almost two billion dollars because we just need an escape we need to have some kind of outlet for escape so how do I deal with the stress and how should you deal with the stress I deal with it by talking to you guys. I kind of use you guys as my sounding board, my outlet. I let myself out there. Sorry, yawning. <sighs> That's always happens in all my videos. I let myself out there and just try to be as vulnerable as possible and like open myself up. And it lets people come to me and open themselves up too. And it's I. I that's the only way I can do it is by letting talking to you guys and taking advantage of all the various outlooks and various perspectives and there was so tangential but I posted a thing on Facebook yesterday about give a compliment to somebody and share points comment your name and I'll share something that I like about you and someone else has shared it and it, like those things do they go you know around the internet and I copied it from somebody else anyway. And um, a comment under their post was someone saying, well, why would you do that? Why, would you, why wouldn't you just message someone public, privately and let them know what you like, think about them? And why do you have to make it public? And, why do people, and I was like, well, why not? Kindness is free, man. Kindness and positivity are free. Just love each other and just, just, just let it go. Why not? Why not just try to do everything you can to make everybody smile? Why not try to make yourself smile as much as you can? That might be a good way to relieve this stress. Why do we have to always insist that we have to embrace the negative? You know, another uh, perspective that I've, that's on that same line. Recently, someone told me because I talk about the ups and the downs, and I talk, I, I, I was talking. I had a really great day, and I was mentioning about all the cool stuff I had going. And then I started to stop myself and remind myself that I have to stay grounded and I have to stay realistic. And someone gave me a good perspective on that. And said, you know what? 
we sometimes think that we have to tie ourselves down with negativity. We can also just embrace the positive every now and then too. Let yourself do the positive when you have the positive. I like that philosophy. I think that that's a great way to live. You know, like there's no reason why I have to balance out the bad with the good every single time. Like it's going to balance itself out. Bad's going to come with the good. But while the good's there, relish the good. You know, we give ourselves permission to feel bad all the time. Like, if I were to come on here and say, I'm feeling terrible today, and it's horrible, and I'm having a really rough day, and I'm feeling sorry for myself, and I just, I, I feel really bad today. If I came on and said that, I bet I would get a lot of comments about, hey, don't beat yourself up, don't feel bad, it's okay to feel that way, you'll get through it. We give ourselves that permission all the time to feel negative. We can give ourselves that same permission to feel positive. You know, it's okay to feel good about yourself. It's okay to smile. It's okay to be proud of who you are. It's okay to know that you are good being you. Your flaws, or people perceive as your flaws, those are just flavor. Those are just different elements that make you different from everybody else. You know, that we're all individuals. I've explained before on this channel my views on, on philosophy and spirituality, how we're all just these little individual icicles on a big ball of energy that is the earth. And I believe that while we do share the giant ball of energy we are do share we have the our individual lives man like we have to enjoy life as it comes we have to we, we have to take all experiences as they come and just savor them smell the roses as i've been saying to my kids all the time smell every rose as they come anyway this video is kind of a bit of a ramble but you know that's what I've been thinking about. I think that's what these are going to turn more into is instead of less of a focused video. I'm just kind of do a ramble. Kind of talk about my thoughts for the day. That might be the best way to get going with it. Um, I love you all. Thank you for all your support. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notifications button so you can see what comes out next. Um, and let me know any thoughts and ideas for future content. As always, you are not alone.